Show and Kevin. Uh, you got in. You got in. You got 20 points tonight. Eight of nine from the field. Four of seven from the free throw line. 20 points. Six rebounds. You're uh, playing yourself back into into regular playing shape, aren't you? Yes, sir. Trying to. Trying to do a long time. It feels good to be back to play. Well, you guys had a spirited contest tonight. Uh, you really had a good first half. Thank you. Yeah, we played well. We came out. We uh, took that loss to Oklahoma City. And the guys just want to come out and make a statement. So that's what we tried to do. Oklahoma Christian's a great team. They're well coached. They run their stuff. We just want to make a statement. Well, you guys did a nice job against the zone trap that they run. Uh, we had some problems with that a couple of years, well, a year ago. But uh, we didn't cause this too many turnovers tonight. And we took our time, patient, and got, got, a, got a lot of good shots off of it. Oh, yeah. Um, we were working on that last couple days in practice. Coach told him he's been emphasizing the trap and moving the ball and cutting through the middle. He was saying the week of the, uh, week of the zone is in the middle. So that was our focus, trying to get to the middle. We were going to make and let him create for others. So you guys nine days off without playing. Uh, was that a, a benefit or did it hurt you? Oh, I think it's a benefit. Guys got the rest a little bit. Um, I know a lot of guys are tired because for a long time in part of the season, they were playing four guards and they had a lot of stuff. But Emmanuel hurt, and uh, he finally coming back and playing well. And yeah, I was able to get back. Basketball tonight. I, I was pretty pleased with a lot of areas tonight. I, I thought we, I thought not only did we bounce back and get a win, but we bounced back and played pretty well tonight in a lot of areas. Well, you shoot 35 to 52 from the field, 67.3%, 7 of 14 from the three-point range, 50%. Had a good night from the field. You weren't great from the free throw line, 12 to 21, 57.1%. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and A.J. missed a couple there early. That, that was, you know, I, it's, he's, he's really improved as a free throw shooter recently. I'm surprised he did that. But, uh, you know, overall, I thought the turnovers were too many at halftime, but it got cut down. Uh, I just think there's a lot of things to be pleased with, and hopefully we're headed the right way. At 19 assists, 14 turnovers, and uh, Kevin Swinton uh, in the post game uh, was pointing out that the way you attack that zone is to attack it in the middle of the ball to Nate, and let Nate create. And he had seven, Nate had seven assists in that account. I thought we I did a good job. Uh, here In the game here last year, our guys did a good job attacking that zone, and, and we showed them that tape. And I, and I thought I thought they were effective in that at times in the first half, but I thought the second half we were much better. They had to play man to man, and, and I felt like we really had an advantage once they went, once they went man to man. Our, our guards did a really good job of throwing inside to Kevin and Nate and getting them involved in the ball. And really good spots on the floor. Yeah, Tim Bowman had five assists tonight, which is uh, is really good. So you got you had a total of 19 assists and 14 turnovers, so good assist. To yeah, that's ratio. good. That's a good ratio, and I just thought it was good unselfish play by the guards. And and then the postman kicked it back out. You're talking about, I think it's, you said seven to 14 from the three point line. I bet you most of those makes came after the ball gone inside and, and came back out because that's that's the best three to shoot because your momentum's headed back toward the basket right there. So that, that's those. Inside out, that really complements each other. That's what good teams do, and, and we were at good team times tonight. Well, Jason Taylor, we only had five points in the first half, and then we got 19 in the second half. We had a, we had a trouble with when we were in him, man. Yeah, I, I was disappointed in that. We, we talked about it. We worked, Kevin and Nate had worked hard trying to keep it away from him, but other guys didn't give him any help on the back side, and he was just, they just threw it over the top over and over right there. And, uh, again, it's... Basketball is a team game, and you got to play together defensively almost more than you do offensively. One guy breaks down, they lob it over the top and bump it off the glass, and, and that's what, you I know, mean, Oklahoma Christian did a good job. Jason gets great position, and they move the basketball and, and do a nice job. But uh, I was disappointed in our help side defense right there, not disappointed in the guys that were guarding. Well, you guys, uh, well, your inside guys just continue to shoot great. Kevin Swinton, 8 of 9, and Nate is 6 of 7. And uh, AJ, who goes the swing guy, he's seven of ten. That's just a really good few of those. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a good percentage. And I, I think Garrett had a good game tonight. I mean, he, he got us going kind of the second half and you know, made a couple of threes and stretched them out a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're, we're okay on the offensive end. That's still the strength. I mean, I think you said that maybe after the first inter squad scrimmage that our offense is pretty good and defense has a long way to go. And, and the offense is pretty good and our defense still has a ways to go. But at times tonight, it was pretty good defensively. That's, that's a hard offense to guard, and our guys did a pretty good job. Um, I felt like for probably the first 25 minutes of the game, something like that. The first half, 
They shoot 15 free throws. They're 13 and 15 from the free throw line. Uh, we keep them off the free throw line. We've guarded pretty well.